Okay, hello everybody. Um, following the uh, few videos about the design of uh, slot bridge, I decided to make a drawing clearly so that the viewer as well can s can see the whole detail of the slot bridge. This is the longitudinal section of the bridge and the transverse uh, section Oh, hold on a second Look how escape, where is that escape? And this is the trans transverse section of the bridge. The bridge is carried with two beams on the side, one on this side here and on the other. I cut this. This is the center line of the bridge. The wearing is uh, three inches in here at the, the curb, and at the crown, it has a one and a half inch increment in there so that the water will. Uh, drain into this direction. This is the drainage right here, and the the height of the beam is 22 inches, and, and the the width of the beam is 24 inches. It's two feet. Okay, the um, <clears throat> the thickness of the thickness of the slab of the bridge is 12 inches, one foot and with a wearing of 3 inches thick this is the longitudinal section of the bridge and there is the the uh, transverse section 13 total of this is uh, 16 feet wide The American Association of State Highway and Transportation officials has these provisions for the slab bridge. Uh, number one, the live load truck loadings. The P20 is the HS20. It has 32,000 pounds in total for two wheels and 16,000 pounds for one wheel. And P15 is also named as, is also equals to HS15, 24,000 pounds uh, for two wheels, 12,000 pounds on one wheel. The, there are two cases that the EASHTO provisions. Case one is the main reinforcement perpendicular to the flow of traffic. This is the, when the bridge spans from 2 to 24 feet. Okay. <clears throat> the two cases here, case 1 and case 2, is to calculate the live load moments. For case 1, the live load moment, live load, live load moment is S plus 2 but by 32 times the the loading that you choose you can choose 15 or 20 depends on the it depends on the uh, usage of the bridge so in here in this case I designed with a load of P20 which is it's S20 32,000 pounds in total 16,000 pounds one wheel um, for case one, for case one, main reinforcement perpendicular to the flow traffic. This reinforcement here, these are the perpendicular uh, to the flow traffic. Where? Uh, case two main reinforcement parallel to the flow traffic right here okay this is the flow traffic 
uh, this reinforcement here is under case uh, case two. To solve for the lab load, the American Association of State Highway and Transportation officials resolve the uh, has given gives us the value of E. E is the panel load where the uh, load is applied. Uh, there are uniformly distributed load for one strip of the slab bridge and the ASTO resolve the E is the final load. You need to calculate the A and apply the load right there, right? So here's the looks of the here's the wheels look like 32,000 pounds applied in the middle and both wheels uh, will consist of um, the reaction of 32,000 for each wheel is 16,000 uh, pounds and since we analyze every strip of every one one foot strip of slab for the slab bridge we only consider one wheel because all the one one foot strip of slab will receive will be subjected to uh, concentrated loads uh, due to the wheels and that load to solve for the live load we need the E the panel load is the resolution the E is strip from 16 feet and the formula for E is 4 plus 0 0.06 times S the uh, reason why we need the E is to to solve the ultimate live load okay, the unit live load <coughs> This is the formula for the unit live load. Um, so we need the calculation of the A. The e is the approximate from the actual uh, analyzed length of 16 feet. We strip that there. Okay. That's why there's an S right here. The S is the 16. Okay. When you calculate this, you get the E. And then the E is the denominator of how to get the unit live load after you get the unit live load that load is uniformly distributed load uh, all over the one foot one foot strip slot 